Hello guys, today I will be flipping this man's shirt into Brandy Melville inspired two piece set and a jumpsuit. They turned out super cute, so you do not want to miss it. So let's start from the green shirt a measuring 17 inches which is going to be the length of my skirt and cutting it out in a straight line i'm also getting rid of the button line as we don't need them remember to cut only the front piece here and not the back also while picking up your shirt always make sure it's oversized so you have some extra fabric to play with in case you mess up i don't know about you but i always do next i'm going to use an old dress that fits me nicely so i can trace the shape so i'm placing it over my shirt and going to start cutting about two inches away as my shirt is not stretchable i'm going to need to add some extra allowance on the sides <music> Now that I have three pieces of fabric, I'm putting the first two aside for now. I'm going to divide this in three. So it's 15 inches and I'm marking five inches each and going to cut them out in straight lines. Not marking it as I can already follow the print. Then I'm placing them one piece over another, matching the edges and adding some pins and marking three inches from the bottom which I will leave it open and then laying the other bit of fabric over as well and marking three inches to keep it open and then adding the pins to the rest. Next, I'm going to sew them near the edges, keeping the bottom part open. I'm using a straight stitch here, sewing about a centimeter away from the edges. Next, I'm going to hem the open bit and also using a straight stitch here. to the rest two bit of the skirt i'm going to add a zipper now i know you might think a pink zipper seriously i know that's because i don't have them in any other color my shipping have not arrived yet and i cannot go out so i am making it work guys just bear with me okay moving on i'm marking eight inches from the top on both the sides and trimming off the excess of the zipper and going to sew the bottom part as we are going to add the zipper to the top To add the zipper, I'm first folding the edge about a centimeter and then placing the zipper. Now while doing this, always make sure the zipper is unzipped and the fabric is placed the wrong side up. And then I'm sewing the zipper and the fabric together using a straight stitch. Once I'm halfway down, I like to zip it to make sure it doesn't interrupt my sewing. And this is how it should look like after it's sewn on one side showing you guys so that you can get an idea of how it's supposed to look next I'm going to sew the rest of the zipper with the fabric right side up which I never do I know um, I'm doing this here so I can make the zipper hidden and sewing it from the right side up gives me the exact idea to check on the zipper if it's perfectly hidden and because it's pink I don't want to show them to anyone so it's obvious now this is going to be the back bit of our skirt which i'm placing it the right side up and this is going to be the front which i am placing it the wrong side up and adding pins near the side edges so it won't move when i sew them
Moving on to the shirt, first I remove the pocket using a seam ripper and going to use my dress to trace the top and here again I'm allowing about 2 inches extra so this shirt fits me nicely and not oversized. Once done cutting on one side, I'm folding the piece in half and cutting out the rest. Now we have two steps to follow here. Number one, sew the side edges using a straight stitch. And number two, hem the raw edges of the sleeves using a straight stitch. Next, I'm going to use the leftover sleeves, marking 3 inches from the edges and drawing a straight line, cutting it out. Also cutting out the rest, tracing the same. I'm cutting the piece out so that they can be one long piece each. Also making sure the edges are straight and nice. Next, I'm laying the pieces one over another, matching the edges adding pins and going to join them, sewing it using a straight stitch. Now, once the pieces are joined in one, I'm going to add it to the shirt near the bottom. Now, this step is really not necessary, but with the length of the shirt, I somehow realized I ended up cutting the shirt too short. I could have made the skirt a little shorter and kept a little more length for the shirt. Now, I didn't, so I'm adding extra. Please keep this step if you are happy with the length of your shirt. Now once the long piece is joined to the shirt, I am just hemming the raw edges, making sure it's all nicely sealed and even. Moving on to the other sleeve, I'm marking 4 inches in a straight line and cutting it out. And also doing the same like I did to the previous sleeves, tracing the piece and cutting it out so I can join them in one long piece. Once the pieces are all joined in one, I'm also going to hem it all around using a straight stitch. And once it's done, I'm going to add it to the top of the skirt. I'm folding the piece in half and placing the skirt edges in between the piece and sewing it in a straight line following the seam line from one side to the other. Lastly, I'm going to use some hook and loop fabric that I got off Amazon. I'm just going to use a tiny bit near the edges, so I'm trimming off the axis and keeping about an inch long and going to sew it all around using a straight stitch. Same to the other piece, I sewed it all around using a straight stitch. And there we have a matching set ready made out of a man's shirt. I absolutely love how it turned out. It's so cute and easy. Of course, you can try it with light prints too to get that more cute Brandy Melville vibes. I just had this screenshot, so I had no other options. 
Okay, so for the next DIY, I'm first seam ripping off the pocket with the help of a seam ripper just like I did with the previous one and then I'm going to trim off the collar part of the shawl. So I'm starting from one shoulder then cutting it off following the collar to the other side. Next, I'm going to trim off the button line as we are not going to need them. Here, remember to trim only the front piece and not at the back piece. Next, moving on to the sleeves, I'm marking 13 inches and going to trim off the excess. Now, if you want, you can keep them this long, but I don't like the length, so I'm cutting them off. Next, I'm going to mark 5 inches starting from the armhole on both the sides. And then connecting the marks, I'm drawing a straight line and going to trim off the excess. Now, in case you're wondering the length of this top from the shoulder to the mark, it's 12 inches. We'll keep the top aside for now and going to work with the rest of the fabric, which is going to be the shorts. So I'm flipping the piece wrong side out and then matching the edges together, I'm folding it in half, marking about three centimeter on one side and then drawing a straight line and also marking about six centimeter at the bottom and then connecting both the lines, drawing a rectangular shape and then carving out the corner with a slight U-shape. Moving on to the other side, I'm marking seven centimeter and then drawing a straight line and also marking six centimeter at the bottom and then connecting the lines and doing the same like I did on the other side, carving out the corner a little bit and then going to cut them out. Next, I'm adding pins near the edges from the top to the curve U on both the sides and then going to sew them using a straight stitch. So once done sewing the edges together, I'm folding the shorts to the other side and then matching the leftover edges together and going to sew them using a straight stitch. Only these three steps and your short should be ready. Now let's move on back to the top. I'm flipping the short wrong side out and then folding it in half I'm matching the raw edges together so that I can add pins near the edges and going to sew it using a straight stitch. Next, I'm folding the top edges about four centimeter and then adding pins all around. And once I've done adding the pins, I'm going to sew it all around and going to keep about one or two inch open so that I can add some elastic to it. Also, while folding the edges, please keep in mind to create a tunnel. So while hemming these edges, make sure your stitch is on one side and not in the middle so that it creates a tunnel and you can add some elastic to it. Next, I'm following the same exact steps for the sleeves. So I'm folding the edges about 3 cm and then sewing it all around using a straight stitch, creating a tunnel and then leaving about an inch open so that I can add some elastic to it. Next, I'm going to use some elastic about 33 inches long and using a safety pin, I'm first pinning one edge of the elastic to the start of the tunnel and then also using another safety pin to pin the other edge of the elastic. I'm going to pass the elastic through the tunnel all the way from one side to the other. And once the elastic passes through the tunnel, I'm going to pin both the edges together and going to sew it using a straight stitch 
back and forth a few times and then i'm going to follow the same exact steps for the sleeves going to add some elastic to the tunnel and secure the edges using a straight stitch next for the waist i sewed a super long piece joining small pieces from the leftover beads and then hemmed it all around to get rid of the raw edges and then i'm adding the long piece to the top near the waistline and adding some pins keeping about a centimeter from the raw edges now once done adding the pins all around i'm sewing it using a straight stitch on both the top and bottom near the edges so that it creates a tunnel and i can add some elastic to it Lastly, all I'm doing is matching the raw edges of the top and the shorts together, keeping both of them wrong side out, and sewing it using a straight stitch, keeping about 2cm away from the edges. have your jumpsuit ready a very brandy melville inspired i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to comment below which one was your favorite and i will see you guys next time bye guys